Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and primarily Poshmark. And today I have a thrift haul. So this is my Honey Hole thrift store. Um, I've mentioned it in pretty much all of my thrift hauls that are not bins hauls. Um, this is like one of the only thrift stores I really go to. Um, I like their pricing system. They have really good stuff. I wish I could share it with you, but... I mean, it's my honey hole. And also, a lot of my viewers aren't even from Washington State. So, anyways, um, I thought I would just give it a go. And um, I went in there for about an hour, I think. I usually spend like two hours there. Um, I only had about an hour before I had to pick my dog up. So, yeah, I think I got some good stuff. Um, all right. The things I do have listed, I'll pop up pictures on the screen of my listing. Um, things I don't have listed, I, I'll just, you know, you'll see, but you won't see, like, the photo. Um, so, yeah, let's just get started. I did take tags off of stuff already, so if I can remember how much I paid for it, I will tell you. Um, all right. First item. These are a pair of pants. They're like a wide leg trouser. <laughs> All right, this is um, a pair of pants, sorry, like I said, and I believe they're a linen blend. I can't say for sure, but this is the brand Poetry, and these happen to be new with tags, which is really nice. I think I paid about, I don't remember, seven or eight dollars, but I thought it was worth it because I did look up comps, and comps were like between 50 and 60. This is a linen cotton blend. I had a feeling there was some linen in there. Front pockets um a nice blue color and I don't have these listed yet but I will obviously list them like right around where comps are so probably around um I'll start them at 60. I always send out offers to likers when people like an item so it'll probably sell between 40 and 50. Next item <laughs> she has this ball now um some of you guys were commenting saying my dog's really cute so I thank you for the compliments um she is whoa she's cute but she's crazy as well very crazy girl um lay down lay down that's Ashley all right next item this is another thing I don't have listed so um I'll get those ones out of the way this is new without tags it still has the button hang tag which kind of makes me assume like it probably was never worn because you would probably take that off um, this is Jay Peterman, and it's a cotton linen blend. I um, wish my lighting was a little bit more professional, but someday. Um, these are a size 2, and they're actually kind of like a culotte pant. So they're white with like these really cute um, side pockets, kind of like lag and look style. A wide leg, like they're really cropped. They're kind of like a culotte. Um, I don't know how much I will list those for, but again, I don't think I paid more than five for those. Okay, I don't really remember. I wish I kept the tags, the, like, thrift store tags on so I could tell you for sure, but I don't remember. <laughs> um, this is a really nice sweater. Looks like this. Um, I thought this would be, you know, some sort of vintage brand, because if you see the buttons, super cute. And um, this is actually sleeping on snow. So this is Anthropology, size medium. This is 100% merino wool. And I really like this sweater. I think it's super cute, um, very vintage inspired, like I said, and really cute little cuff details. So yeah, that one I really like. All right, next is a new with tags item. This, I found a comp for 70 Um, I don't know how long ago that sold, though, so maybe I'll have to list it a little bit lower. But this is a Diane von Furstenberg, um, size 10. It is just a blouse, but it's new with tags. This is the Ileana Top Embellished in Deep Cove, size 10. And I don't know how much, it doesn't say how much it retailed for, but that person's listing that I found on Poshmark said 228 So I'm assuming that's what it is. It's like this cute little kind of like boho top and I really like the front details like that. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. I wouldn't really wear it, but you know, if I had like a special event to go to, um, I think that would be a nice top. Um, okay. Next. She is wild. 
All right, this is a men's piece. I think this is the only men's piece in here. This is a sweater by the brand John Varvados. And this is like Lux, um, size extra large. I don't know if this has like wool or anything. It is 67% wool. And it's like a nice hooded sweater. Um, I actually like selling John Varvados, but I feel like the comps like, or, you know, the resale value is not as high as like maybe it once was. Um, I'm still hoping to get like 50. Um, as you'll see on the screen, I did list it for 50. Hoping to get around there, but you know, I'm not really sure <laughs> what I'll actually end up getting. Um, all right. This is just a bread and butter piece, but um, it was like half off. I think it was like $2 or something like that. And this is Talbot's. Um, the reason I got it is because it's a size 3X, so it's plus size, and it's like a really nice top. It's kind of summery, though, so not sure um, how well that will do this time of year. She put her ball in here and can't find it. Here you go. Ashley, look. Like I found it. Um, so, <laughs> anyways, um, I thought that was kind of nice. I'm looking for things to list, so I know I can make some money off of it. Um, all right. This is a J. Jill uh, scarf. I got it because it is new with tags. This retailed for $39 and it's just like a uh, infinity scarf. This was $2. Um, it is kind of like reversible, but I don't know. Hopefully to get, hoping to get around like 20 to 22. I think this is a good time of year to be selling like new with tag stuff, especially like accessories or I don't know, blankets, stuff like that for Christmas and holiday, just all the different holidays. You know, people like to buy new with tag stuff. Speaking of new with tags, this is a, this is a Banana Republic um, dress. I got this because it's new with tags and I really like the style. I don't pick up a lot of Banana Republic, size six. I thought this was so cute though. This was actually in their Halloween section. Um, I went a day after Halloween, so, um, I was kind of surprised that this never got taken because, you know, it's like a cute animal print dress and it was only $3, which I thought was pretty reasonable for a new with tags Banana Republic dress. Um, I love it. I think it's cute. I wish I had somewhere to wear that, but I don't. So, um, this one I do not have listed yet because I haven't photographed it because it needs to be steamed. Um, but it is this dress. It's like a casual, no, not casual. I'm sorry. It's like a cocktail dress. I don't know why I said the word casual. This is the brand Reese, R-E-I-S-S. -S. This is a size 10. And I really like the, the color of this, but I also really like the shape. Um, I think it's nice. I've only found Reese one time, but it actually was flawed. So this one's really nice. I want to see the fabric. Um, I think this is called the Agnes dress or something like that. And it's just viscose modal and elastane. So there's no silk. It does feel like silk though, but yeah, that was really nice. Okay. This is going to be really hard to show, but I will show you the, um, my listing photo. It'll have the stock photo so you can see it better. This is soft surrounding size three X mm -hmm. and, um, it is a really nice, like, long sleeve asymmetrical hem dress you'll see so much better on the screen that i show um but yeah it's like really nice maxi length it is in really good condition as well and yeah i don't think the thrift store really knows that brand because they never mark up soft surroundings and i'm really happy to find it in plus sizes it tends to sell a lot better i did get this soft surroundings piece and it is a petite size, so petite size medium, and I don't really expect this to sell for more than 15 or 18, um, but this was also on sale, so it's a really cute mock neck, like heathered gray top. Again, feels like it's in really good condition, but I don't know. Probably should have run comps on that one. All right, this is a new to me anthropology brand. You know, there's like so many anthropology brands out there. Some are more obscure than others. Um, this one I haven't found comps on, but I can't even find this brand online. So 
that tells you how obscure it is. It's called In Our Nature. Let me know if you guys know this brand. The only way I knew this was Anthropology is because I looked um, on the inside tag and it, it has the um, 66170RN number, which is Anthropology. Um, and yeah, it's super nice. So it kind of feels like really good quality fabric. So it is this cover up like shacket, but it's not really like thick enough to be a jacket. Um, the inside has a different fabric and I love this so much. So if I find comps that are like good, I'm probably going to aim high because I think it's really cute. Kind of like a unique piece that you don't, you know, find that every day. This is one of those pieces I only got because it was a dollar. Um, otherwise I don't really, this is Lucky Brand and this is a size medium. It's just this nice like patterned blouse top and yeah I, I prefer lucky brand in larger sizes and more unique pieces but grab that all right here is another j jill piece this is a um this is in the color jade heather kimono pure jill new with tags doesn't have the retail price but that's okay it is this really cute top with the like front like kangaroo pocket and um does the pocket go through? Yeah, it does. It's really nice. Like a teal blue color, new with tags. I think I have that listed for like 30. I don't really remember, but you'll see on the screen. Um, all right. Here is a formal wear piece. This is by the brand Alex Evenings. I've sold this brand a couple times, but I don't always grab it. I love this dress. Um, the top is like a shimmery color. The bottom's like a really nice silky kind of... I don't know. The, the only problem is that it's a petite size and <sighs> anyways, I think it's really, really pretty and I really like selling um, formal wear gowns, things like that. Um, luckily, she's only like 50 pounds, so I can just lift her and move her over when she's in my way. Um, <laughs> I know, honey, she wants attention. Um, okay. This is a, this is a Bowden dress. That's what the Bowden tag looks like. And this one is a size US 10. So it is like, this is called the um, Margot jersey dress or something. It's pretty popular style. Has like pockets on the front side, ruching the waist. Um, nice blue color. I like that one. Love selling Bowden. This was on the um, 50 cent rack. <laughs> it's the only reason I got it. This is Harry Potter Universal Studios, I think. Um, Universal or Orlando says 4X, which is great. And it's a graphic t-shirt. Um, I think this should do pretty well just because, I mean, when I say pretty well, I mean like 15 to 20, but um, I think it should sell. And, you know, merch is expensive, so. <laughs> Okay, I have like a couple items that are my absolute most exciting pieces, which I think I will show last. Um, and I'll tell you why. So this is just Vince. It's an old tag, but it was really cheap. I remember that. Size small, wool blend, and it's just like a chunky cardigan. It's a little bit of an outdated style, but I don't know. I can't really leave Vince behind if it's cheap and in good condition. So um, I liked that sweater. Okay, this is a, did I get everything? Yeah. This is a Free People sweatshirt. I've sold this style before in a different colorway. Size large, it's like an older Free People tag, but it's like a long hoodie tunic with these cool branches. I think this is a cool, unique um, hoodie by Free People with like a Henley button up. Um, I like that. All right, my last two pieces are my favorite. I will show this one first. So this is a 100% cashmere sweater by 525 America, which I actually don't always pick up, but when I find something like this, I will. I absolutely love this. It is so soft. Like, I can't even believe how soft this is. It is so cute. A blue and white striped turtleneck sweater. Um, and this was, like, absurdly cheap. It was, like, three... It was, like, two or three dollars, something like that. Like, we're talking, like, Ben's prices. 
Okay, this last piece, I don't know why I like it so much, like why I was so excited to find it, but it just has all the things going for it, I think is what I like about it. So first of all, it was on a hanger, but it was on the floor. So it was like no one even saw it. And so I picked it up because I was gonna put it back on the rack and it has everything going for it. So brand first is Ralph Lauren um, Black Label, which I think either black or purple is the highest tier, one of those two. Um, I know they're stupidly expensive retail. Um, this is Ralph Lauren Black Label and it's a size extra large and it's 100% cashmere and there's no holes and <laughs> it has this like in, like crazy beaded cuff detail. Um, and I think I paid five or six dollars for this. One of the more expensive pieces but um, how pretty like... I think this would look so good on someone with like, has like that wide boat neck, um, beaded cuffs. So cool. I love it. It is so incredibly soft. Comps were like $100, $120. And it's a size extra large, which is really good. Black label. So I was beyond excited to find this at a thrift store for like 5 or $6. So I couldn't believe it. So that is my haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I actually ordered, I ordered the thread up 200 pound mixed women's clothing box. It hasn't shipped yet, which usually they ship within like the same like couple days, like three days after I order it and it hasn't shipped yet. But I know a lot of people ordered them recently, so maybe they're just delayed, but that will be a unboxing video coming soon as well as more hauls so i'll see you guys in my next video bye